Hi, this is Darren Drew, D. Drew Guitars. Okay, I finally can get to my die. So I'm going to show you how to die the bridge really quick. I use a little finger condom to keep my fingers from not getting black. Just a paper towel. And then some black leather die. Put it on the paper towel and the way I found best to do this is not to wipe it but just to dab it. You want to get the front and back also. Any deep holes like these right here with the chamfer marks in there. Try to get all those filled in so that it will appear like it's never been done. Get all that part. Then I can start dabbing it. If you keep wiping, it just wants to start wiping back off. I found so. Then you gotta let it dry a little bit. Just keep doing it until you nice even everywhere. Some people call this ebonizing. Uh, it is what it is, but. And I won't put any oil on it because it's going to take a while to dry. The oil would probably just start taking it back off again. It'll look just like new when you get done. Now your string height should be correct. And what I do on the saddle while I'm letting this dry is I just mark it with the pencil. There is a mathematical fact um, that you can use a mathematical method. Say your string height is at the 12th fret with it in tune and in pitch. 264 is too high. It should be like 7 and 564. You know, 7 here, 564 here. If it's like 7 and you know 964, then you would want to take 2 millimeters or 2 64 off. But you want to double it, so then that would be four sixty-fourths off of each end. I mark it with the pencil. You can kind of see. That way I know exactly where I want to go with it. I take it out to a belt sander, put it on the belt sander, and then just go right to that line. And then you're, if you measured it correctly, I've done so many, I just use my eye. I'm pretty good at that. Um, now, like I said, I've had over 10,000 guitars go through my hands at work in the past five years. So I do a lot of stuff by eye because after you do that many, you become very good at it. It's like anything else. If you did it that many times, you're going to be an expert, professional. <laughs> uh, so you don't need to always, you know, measure 64th because that's kind of more difficult than doing it by eye, if you ask me. Okay, I'll let that dry a little bit. And I'll pull my tape off, put the strings on, and um, it should be the, the exact height I would like it to be. And I'm sure it will be. So then that's how you dye your bridge. This is Darren Drew. Please like and please subscribe. And I'll teach you some more stuff later. Thank you.